What does E3, Game Awards, and any other game showcase have in common? They're all completely pointless. Back in the day, game presentations were something to look forward to. See what game companies were working on for months was a sight to behold. Nowadays, it's nothing but promoting games that'll crash and burn in the long run, including people making asses of themselves and wasting our time with games that nobody cares about, E3 especially. Speaking of E3, what better way to kick off this show than shitting on this one great game conference that is the Electronic Entertainment Expo. Back in the day, E3 was a showcase that showed the latest and possibly the greatest games that people could look forward to, with the possibility of seeing some new consoles as well. Fast forward to our current era and E3 has become a new hell on earth. E3 is now nothing but a colossal waste of time where scummy or one straight companies show up whatever garbage they so please while people make asses of themselves and bore us with pointless zoom calls. When I think of E3, the first thing that comes to mind is the art that these companies have devoted their time in creating. Seeing all the new games that have yet to be released to the public was something I've always admired about E3, as well as how they would be innovative and creative. Of course, there would be some blunders along the way, but for the most part, E3 was solid. But all that changed in the coming years and E3 began showing its ugly side more and more. More bad games were being shown publicly and even games that people would hype up would eventually be released in a buggy, glitchy, broken state. The feeling of, of being there, of walking the streets of the future, is really going to be breathtaking. You're breathtaking! <laughs> You're breathtaking! You're all breathtaking. I still don't know who this guy is. E3 got worse when all of a sudden dumbasses would put on a clown show for no reason at all and thought that discussing diversity or integrity or whatever the fuck was a good idea. Another problem with E3 is that certain companies would show one game for a total of 20 minutes or just show it off for the rest of their showcase. <coughs> E3 is now a time-wasting showcase where it's no longer about showing on creative games and it's filled with games that I personally don't care about. No disrespect to those who are looking forward to the games like God of War Ragnarok, Spider-Man 2, or even Xenoblade Chronicles 3, but I prefer old games receiving the new game treatment, not counting any pointless reboots. New technologies are being put to good use for these new games, but the old games still retain their respective qualities prior to their release to the point where fans are recreating these old games with their skills and knowledge with the likes of the Unity engine and the Unreal engine. Would be nice if remasters and remakes would be more common so that these idiots would make old games better and preserve their titles. If anyone in this time stopped paying attention to E3, you're doing yourself a favor because nowadays it might as well be sleeping aid. Especially that god awful zoom call. Seriously, what the fuck was that? I can appreciate Jeff Keighley for creating the summer game fest to make up for the absence of E3. But to be completely honest, it makes no difference. Also, who could forget about Bandai Namco's E3 conference? And by conference, I mean House of Ashes and nothing else. In fact, let me say this. Bandai Namco shouldn't be showcasing anything anymore, especially after that Play Anime Live fiasco. We just gave you guys so much anime content and so many- No you didn't! We didn't want that! You gave us mobile games and QR codes! You didn't give us anything! You can get, so whatever you want- You're delusional! You're actually delusional! They're actually delusional! Moving on to the Game Awards, an award show where voting doesn't matter. Either that or they're rigged. Back then, the Game Awards was a celebration of the art that people had created that captivated people's hearts and even inspired people to create games of their own. So, what the fuck happened in the Game Awards in this current generation? In the category of Best Art Direction, The Last of Us Part 2. For Best Score in Music, The Last of Us Part 2. The Best Audio Design nominees are The Last of Us Part 2. Innovation and Accessibility. The Last of Us Part 2 in the category of Best Narrative, The Last of Us Part 2. Best Role Playing Game, The Last of Us Part 2. Best Fighting Game, The Last of Us Part 2. For Best Simulation or Strategy Game, The Last of Us Part 2. Next up, Best Sports Racing, The Last of Us Part 2. Best Esports Team, The Last of Us Part 2. Best Esports Coach, The Last of Us Part 2. The Best Esports Event, The Last of Us Part 2. And our last esports category, Best Esports Host, The Last of Us Part 2, Game of the Year. The Last of Us Part 2. Don't forget the award for most pointless sex scene. <laughs> the way you
you pin me yeah. the wall. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh my What's God. the difference between fucking and fighting at this point? Oh my God. Whoa. This yeah. is crazy. Yeah. What a thrill. Oh, and take me. Oh, and yes. <laughs> really? Yes. Wow, dude. Oh. Yes. Nipple. No <laughs> way. We oh. saw Abby tits. Take oh. me from behind. Turn around oh. quick. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I need it from behind. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, God, this is she, she's got pecs. Yeah. Ah. What? <laughs> 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 What the fuck? Sexual healing. Fantasy. What the? F <laughs> what? What about me? Oh, wait, hey! What about me? Hey, 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 whoa! You fucking cheat. What, I don't want to see the way. Whoa, what? Hey, 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 hey. Oh, whoa! What are you fuck? I was a goddamn sexy. What the fuck is this shit? And once again, the Game Awards showed off games that I honestly don't give a fuck about. This might as well be E3 2.0 because the level of pointless in this shit show is equal to or greater than E3. Hard pass on this. I'd rather break my feet working on my job whenever the shipment picks up again. But at least the Game Awards stepped up with this wonderful gem that we will remember for days to come. Fuck the Oscars, you know? <laughs> fuck the Oscars! Fuck you! I'll tell you! I was like, this is bullshit! And now for the small fry. Nintendo Direct used to be full of anticipation and learning new things. Now it's just a bucket of games where I personally handpick whatever game interests me. I still remember how Nintendo Direct used to be. Informative and enlightening. And seeing as the water on screen was always a delight. Fast forward to... I believe around 2016 or 2017. And the enlightenment slowly diminished. They don't even film on location anymore, instead they just use some graphic background and some weird techno game music. Honestly, not my cup of tea. And similar to E3, for the most part, it's a game showcase where 80% of the presentation is just complete filler. In fact, I wait for Nintendo Directs to end and just see the new games via timestamps people type in the comments section because Nintendo is lazy enough to not type in timestamps after the broadcast or just wait for the trailers to be uploaded by Nintendo themselves. Once again, a complete waste of time and mostly full of games I just don't have any cares in the world about. And as a bonus, Pokemon Presents can also go fuck itself. Although they show up some games that may be what people wanted, they also have their fair share of games and software that maybe want to sleep. And who could forget about the time they said they had more news only to show up Pokemon Unite and waste everyone's time. And to cover up the backlash, the Pokemon company thought that re-uploading the trailer was a good idea after removing it to cover up the negative reception. How dumb they were. So yeah, Nintendo Direct and Pokemon Presents. Fuck them. Similar to Nintendo Direct's PlayStation's not Nintendo Direct, aka State of Play, also has games that, you guessed it, I have no care in the world for. But they do look fantastic, like Little Devil Inside. But between Nintendo Directs and State of Plays, I honestly think that State of Plays are worse. Full of games that are just an afterthought while they show off the best for last to make people shit themselves. Long, depressing sigh. And who could forget about the time they showed up that microtransaction cancer fest that was Gran Turismo 7. I didn't look at any of the trailers back in the day, nor did I see videos about it. But I caught some glimpses of the review score and yeah, nothing to see here. Nothing to see here folks, at least for me, but feel free to skip it and see whatever trailer catches your eye. So no disrespect to Microsoft, but constantly showing up Xbox games weekly and free or discounted games with gold membership isn't effective. Nobody needs to see what's hot on Xbox or what's free for just a penny with gold membership because in the end, there's Game Pass which I hear is the best offer for Xbox and PC users. I honestly don't have much to say here other than how ineffective a weekly showcase is. 
you're better off just browsing around Xbox's YouTube channel or waiting for trailers to appear after a big reveal show. Same old, same old. So with all this in mind, there's honestly no reason to see what new games are coming out because in the end, the quality of the product and how the game is made will vary. There's honestly no reason to get hyped for games anymore, especially when these corporations continue to disappoint people each year. E3 is a clown show where barely anything interesting happens, Game Awards might as well be E3 with pointless trophies being handed out, and Nintendo, PlayStation, and Xbox continue their pointless showcases. To be honest, I'm just tired. I'm tired of these game presentations wasting time with games that I don't care about, that aren't intriguing whatsoever, and it just makes me distance myself from whatever these idiots are making nowadays and directs my attention to fan games. I'd rather look forward to Mother Squared or Mega Man X Corrupted, since those are games I can actually get into that these bullshit corporations should be making or should have been made already. You want to know what I really want out of all of this? Remasters and remakes of old games or games that nobody knows about with quality of life improvements to make the game better and without any of the greedy content cutting dog shit. That isn't just a port of a game that existed on previous hardware. But that's a topic for another time. <sighs> Man, times really were better back then, huh? Also, if these shitty game corporations are going to have their awful presentations, then this might as well be their intro for all of them. Oh hi, thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage.